we will bring attention to Copenhagen as a place to come, to, 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 to visit the, the cycling culture, hopefully bring that cycle culture back with them, so we can uh, get some cars out of the cities and bring more bikes. People are, are starting to look for quality. They're starting to look for something unique. Um, I think it's a personal thing. You want to stand out, but I also think that that people actually see a value in something that is long-lasting and, and not just something you throw out after a few years. You have a good connection uh, with your child because you can talk to them uh, compared to other bikes where the, the children are either in front or uh, some have uh, some in the back. A lot of people moving to bigger cities, uh, bigger cities becoming more and more congested and we need to find alternative solutions uh, on how to get from A to B in, inside cities. Uh, there should be no uh, excuse for you not to take your bike every morning, uh, so uh, if it's windy or if it rains a little or snows a little, you should still want to take your bike. And uh, having an e-motor just makes that choice a little easier. It's quite fast. <laughs> I love the extra motor. And it's really strong. This echo normal and high. How much help do you want? We do see a big rise in e-bikes. We see it especially outside the big cities. We have more distances there. People need to commute farther and further. So they need this extra push that the electricity gives them. Well, a lot of nice bikes, of course, but I already have the bikes I needed. So, but I looked into the new uh, Copenhagen City Bike concept, uh, Go Bike, which I find uh, very attractive, actually. They can replace some of these uh, short car trips with this bike instead and free up a lot of space. It just uses a tenth of the energy uh, of an electric car. No noise pollution, no emissions there and so on.